saw a video some time back and I would give credit but I have absolutely no idea who it was or where they were doing like camping from a thousand years ago something along that line they had a lot of the gear and I'm not sure if it's actually historical based although I believe it was they had something along this line it was forged out of iron just wrapped up like this and it was a little shorter it had a socket on there I believe with a wood handle and they were cooking flatbread on it or you can actually cook meat on it or anything stick it on there and hold it over the fire then you can bring it back flip it over back over the fire but this is a cooker from I would say a thousand years ago it was made at the time of iron hand forged iron which I could do but I really don't want to it was just easier to go to the hardware store and buy some wire um, I've got another plans for one of these they'll be it'll be made out of copper but I want it I want to make something that's actually physically smaller that I can carve my own stick to stick into and it'd be easier to carry around because this in a pack even rolled up in a bedroll would suck I'm not even gonna lie about it and I want a little heavier material on top of it just we've got some heavier material I did this just to see how easy it'd be to do I think we're gonna do it out of some heavier rod coil it up and uh, that'll be a future video but here it is All right, I saw a while back a Viking bread cooker basically and it was made out of iron and built in a spiral so they basically made an iron rod then twisted it into a spiral come back and it had an end on it where you could put it on a wooden handle and you put your flatbread or meat or whatever and hold it over the fire then you could cook it pull it out flip it over and they carried this as part of their gear and it wasn't very big kind of handy well I'm not gonna make the iron rod Find an iron rod is kind of a trick. What we have out here in the Midwest is a whole bunch of number nine wire. Granted, this is galvanized, but once I get it formed up, I'm gonna throw it in the fire, burn all the galvanizing off, wire brush it, heat it back up, and dip it in canola oil, which will give it a black finish that'll kind of make it non-stick. I may have to do that several times, but that's what it's gonna end up being and you'll see it used in future videos first off pliers and a bit of a hammer and just roll the number nine wire around number nine wire isn't overly hard to do but it can be a pain in the yak sometimes that a tap. I want to shrink it up a little. And as it follows it around, you keep one in between. And the thickness of the one you're going around determines how thick this and how tight the spiral is. easily make a jig but this way you can do it most anyone can do this all you have to do is have a log and two nails basically is what it amounts to so you just form form it up and as big as you want it the heavier the material the tougher it'll be, the also the harder it'll be to work.
go back. And when you have spots like that, you can bend it a little more. That's the nice thing about this wire. I don't know what they called these back in the day because I'm sure they had their own specific name. Couldn't tell you and I bet you I couldn't pronounce it if I knew it. But they're not hard to make. They're kind of fiddly as you can see. All right, once you got it to the size you want it, go just a little bit bigger each one of these will be individual Get it to where you want it, size wise. Get hold of your wire and give it a hard bend. This will be the start of your handle. All this can be bent out straight, flat, however you want it. Okay, once you have your handle coming back. don't need it terribly long because if you're heating it all the way back here it's entirely too hot for your bread okay come back there's your handle So, okay, once we have that, then we need to cut it, but first let me we'll work that down. Okay, then we're going to bend it here. I'll probably cut it off right through here. See if what I got planned works. With the wire, the longer you can keep your ends, the easier it is to bend it over. Sometimes this isn't always the simplest thing in the world to work. And this is kind of a rough Rough deal, there's your handle. It's basically your Viking Age campfire grill, handheld. This here is in case you wanna get it up over a rock or a log or something and set it down. You can set something on this end and actually have it over the fire where you can secure it. 
stick it in the ground and actually have your fire under it and cook. You just got to be careful. Have something under here to keep it from twisting. But that's my idea of this. You can lop this off any length you want. Granted, if you built this out of, pulled out some rebar, some thin rod, eighth inch iron rod or something like that. Well, yeah, eighth inch, maybe a little bit heavier. And run it on a forge. You could probably make one a little bit tougher. But for knocking one out, that's fairly quick. It'll work. 